Okay, thank you, Chief uh, yeah. Eluno. That was quite um, a detailed and a straightforward analysis of the plans for the elections. Yeah. And uh, like I was saying, these are roughly two weeks since your committee was uh, inaugurated yeah. and uh, you have done all this. I think that's creditable. Credit I think it's quite commendable to have put in this amount of work and uh, set the election rolling in such a short time. Yeah. So I'll commend you uh, for that. But uh, what has been the feedback so far? What has been the feedback? Uh, how do people feel about uh, the work done so far at the elections? <clears throat> mm, actually, a, a call home where a man is happy about what we are doing. They are happy in the, happy in the sense that uh, we gave enough publicity to this election. We went as far back as going, sending town criers to all the quarters informing them about our plans before even the collection of the form. So all the quarters, I'm really impressed that notwithstanding the time frame, I'm really impressed that notwithstanding the time frame, it's a very mar marvelous drama. People are coming and they're happy. Even uh, at the beginning, the initial stage, we were thinking about maybe because of what happened the other time that people might be thinking uh, we, we can't do this or we can't do that that maybe it's the same election we hold election we don't have better keep on promising them that by special grace of god the election is a reality and it must be all held and uh, from look of things they are cooperating they are cooperating because anybody who is from this community needs somebody to live in peace and it was a way they would contribute to move our community forward. A lot of, a lot of candidates are coming from Abuja Lagos to come and participate. I mean, those contestants, people that are involved. So we have been impressed. I don't think uh, we, the community, will have more challenges. No doubt. Don't have more challenges because uh, people are competing the way we expected them. So we are really impressed about that. That, that is nice to that is nice uh, to hear and uh, now that uh, you bring the matter up I, I want to look at uh, one of the issues you brought up but in the meanwhile this center for research in Igbo history and culture today is Saturday the 5th of February 2022 20, we're here at Hoopla World TV studios and uh, our guest today is Chief Sunday Eluemono who is the chairman of the electoral community um, for the Umeri General Assembly, UGA general elections, which have been slated for the 5th of March, 2022. So he is here uh, helping us to understand the arrangements for the elections so far, what they have done. In the first part of this interview, he gave a rundown of the election timetable, you know, you will find that in part one of this interview, in, in case you missed it, you'll find it there. And now um, we want to look at one or two other issues concerning the elections. Now, Chief, yeah. uh, you brought up the question of what happened <laughs> last time. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy that you brought it up because, you know, um, you know, and sometimes some of these things are in the background. Some of these things, are in the background. there's a term you used. Uh, you said um, that the core Umweri person yeah. is happy yeah. uh, with what we are doing with yeah. the election and things. Yes. In using the term, the core Umweri person yeah. is happy, you are saying that there are some people who fall outside of that bracket, uh, who might not be so happy with what is happening. We cannot deny that. Even if it's only three people, there must be that remnant. So we recognize recognize that. And uh, we want to look at some of the issues. 
Eh, Eman Apizi, Apizi Abua, or no, do no, and then yeah, so I make it to see over Tipo. So we want to look at the areas that might be booby traps and let us address them ahead of time. So you were talking about uh, what happened before. I assume that by that you meant that uh, the election had been previously attempted but couldn't yes, uh, hold. Can you give us some background into that? Uh, actually, you as a as a normal person, you know that uh, last time there was an amendment for this election to be held, but it was stopped by the government, not by the normal normal people. It is the wish of the government that the election must be shifted due to their due to one reason or another, because. Uh, I was part of the last uh, Katika government. And we did everything humanly possible to make sure that that election was held. But due to one reason or the other, due, because it's an election period, the government of Anapra State shifted the election, giving their reason that they want the Anapra State governorship election to be held first to avoid crisis. They suspended both the election of the old PGs, not the community. Well, the community is not only Umori, including the communities involved in the ships election. They were suspended. And there's nothing we can do. That's an instruction and a mandate from the government. And when the ban was lifted as well, they wrote the communities that the ban for election has been lifted. And that is why you, you, you see this second time preparation for an election, which I'm giving you my word by the special grace of God that it's a reality. We need to encourage our people that anytime there's something, some, anytime things like this happen, we can't, let them all lose hope. It's not our making, it's the making of the government. And the government has the final say, a final instruction on what to do by any of the community. And we need to abide by that as a law-abiding community, which I believe that you know that Umwere is one of the most peaceful community in this locality. So that is a even issue. in Nigeria. Even in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Even in Nigeria. Chief, it's really a joy to have you here. Today, because you wear a number of caps, very and they are very significant caps. Like you said, you were a member of the last UGA administration, immediate past yes. UGA administration. So you are the elections we are referring to. Uh, you were one of the organizers yes. uh, because you were exactly. the, the the deputy chairman yes. of the then Kiatika committee yes, uh, that organized that yes, election. And um, at the same time, you were also chairman of. Uh, UGA Lagos branch, yeah. which is a very significant, you still are, yeah. Yeah. which made you a, a powerful stakeholder then, and somebody who ought to, who was in the know during that election, yeah. you know, and today you are the chairman of the electoral committee charged with responsibility for the organizing of this present election. Yeah. Now, since that the annulment, or not an it was an annulment, it was not, the council, it was the council yeah. of the last election on the eve of the election.